Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer which I've chosen by choice. Um, it, I was due to do an Adnams beer next anyway, but it's the Adnams Explorer Chilled. Now the reason I did this today is I realised, after reading what it says on the back, that this quite possibly be... Um, as an American IPA style beer is 5% in the volume, normally they're a bit stronger than this, but I'll read what it says on the back and then we'll get it poured out. Adam Explorer Chilled captures the spirit of discovery by blending Chinook and Columbus hops from the New World. Still brewed on the Suffolk coast only with hops from another, Adam's Explorer Chilled is a light refreshing blonde beer suffused with the aromas of a grapefruit grove. The citrus attack, sounds very promising, <laughs> will burst on your palate. Fantastic serve chilled. Now, to me, after I did the Brewdog Punk IPA with the beautiful um, citrus tones going on there with the grapefruits and the, and the lemons, this sounds quite similar. So, let's get it open. It's freezing cold. It's coming out golden coloured. It's coming out very similar actually to an IPA. Okay, put that there for a second. So, first of all, what do we get? It's a golden coloured beer, bit of carbonation going on. It's uh, about a two finger head going on there. Aroma, yeah, on my nose. Smells, it does smell. Very, very grapefruity. Let's give it a taste. Wow, that is the citrus attack they explained on on the bottle. It's so true, it does, it, it's very strong. It's almost, it's hostile, it's quite hostile I find. It's almost, I think if it was much more, you probably wouldn't like it. But it's not bad. And then on the second taste, after the initial strong bout of hops you got, the second taste you, you, you're, more, you're more inclined to, you know exactly what you're going to get. So it's much, much better. Again, the second mouthful was much more grapefruity for me, but this freezing cold is so refreshing. Well done, Adnams. You produced a good beer here. Five percent in the volume, pint bottle. Not a bad body on the beer. Can I compare this to the Punk IPA? I can and I will because it's the only thing I can possibly compare it to if I'm being fair. Then I'd say it's right up there. It's right up there. It's a good drink. And I tell you, it's very, very good and very, very heartening to see that British brewers are taking on such a style of beer. 
So if you've tried the Punk IPA, if you like it, if you if you haven't tried the Adnams Explor Explorer Chilled, then it's well worth a go. It's not six and a half percent in the volume like the Punk. Um, it's five percent in the volume, so you could probably call this a good session beer. Easily, easily drinkable. This is going down very well. The hops are fantastic. How they get the the grapefruit and citrus flavours out, out of the hops is, is absolutely fantastic. It tastes so good. As it's going down, you've still got a nice bit of carbonation, still a bit of a head there. Nice bit of lacing on the glass. So I suggest giving this a go. Um, Adams are a well-known company. Um, they they are in most of the the supermarkets you go to um, in the UK and in, probably around the world. Um, if you see it, I give this a try. I really would think about giving this a try. It's as they say, it's a new world beer. I think what they mean by that, if you were gonna categorize this is a it's a style of beer um, which I'm, I am I gotta be honest I, I'm quite new to but I'm gonna be venturing into because I really like this style of beer it's a West Coast style IPA very nice okay bit of information about the brewery they're based in Seoul Bay Adnams Southworld internet site if you want to order any of their merchandise um, t-shirts um, jackets pint glasses let me show you the pint glass they've got their name written on there Adnams nice pint glass very sturdy thick glass as well so you're not warming the beer up with the with your warm hands on it, it's quite insulated from your hands. Nice thickness in the glass. Um, www.adnums.co.uk. Okay, I think I've probably round up, rounded this beer up. There's a few more from the Adnums range to do in the future. If you're interested, um, if you want to contact the Real Ale Guide, get in touch with me. Um, Facebook, Real Ale Guide. Twitter, Real Ale Today. Um, also, I want to. I like to hear your thoughts. I like to hear your comments. I like to hear your comments. I like you to when you write comments on my face on my YouTube page. Um, let me know what you think of this beer. I thought it was very good. If you tried it, um, if you tried their broadside, which is the other stronger ale, um, tell me what exactly is your best out of the range, out of the Adams range. I certainly think I'm going to probably say. I'm going to rate this beer and I'm going to say that it's, I would choose this over the broadside I think. I've, I've got to be honest, um, over the last few weeks I've really, I've called myself a real ale guy but I've really had my eyes open to the, um, to the West Coast style IPAs. I'm absolutely loving them, I've got a few to review in the fridge which I'm going to be doing very shortly. Leave a comment, subscribe. This gets a 9 from me. This gets a 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Very good drink. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, Going to be doing a review very shortly. I think we got three back-to-back -back reviews tonight. So um, if you see me getting a bit worse for wear, <laughs> let me know in the comments box. Cheers.